Hello, my name is Fawad and uh, this uh, video tutorial is uh, about to develop code for the pneumonia detection using some deep neural network model. Uh, here we have a paper for the pneumonia detection using convolutional neural network for the feature extraction process. Uh, there are two different type of images. One has the one is from the pneumonia patient and the other x-rays uh, for the normal patient. We have to detect whether uh, an x-ray contain uh, pneumonia or not. So for that purpose, in they have used different neural network model and achieved different REUC values. They have used multiple different classifier with different kernel types and they achieved various uh, accuracies out of all these accuracies the maximum accuracy have been achieved through dense net 169 plus svm and the auc value for that is for this is 0 0.8002 uh, we have to improve this accuracy that is 0 0.8002 any accuracy uh, greater than this one will provide uh, uh, some improvement will need some improvement within the code so what we have done is after various experiments on different various model and different kernel types I have come to the conclusion that the inception v3 model provide uh, best accuracy out of all them out of these uh, other models uh, if we look into the code of the research if we look into the code of this problem uh, project you can see that uh, there is a data set of images uh, the one folder contain images of the pneumonia patient these are total 100 uh, 1431 images and the other of the normal patient which are also 1400 and something else so uh, what I did is first of all I have defined that folder the folder name was dataset images then if I run this code line by line you will see that what happened in the workspace uh, the second line that show that the image data store I have used that uh, the folder contains some images the data store uh, will create a structure within the workspace you will see that in the workspace I have got a structure and if I open this structure you will see that uh, there are files uh, the name of uh, the files within the folder so these are the name and complete address of each folder uh, the second thing within this uh, uh, is the which is very important is the labels uh, you can see that there are different various labels pneumonia and not found these are two folders the third thing uh, uh, which is the size so these are different variables within the structure the two most important for the uh, file names and the labels now we will divide the original set of images into two sections the one section will be used for the testing and the other will be used for the training so if you look into the workspace and I execute this line you will see that two further structures have been created now after that uh, I will create the define the neural network inception v3 which I have downloaded from the add-on uh, over here I have downloaded this inception v3 model from the add-on and the network layers if I execute this line you will see the complete detail of the neural network model these are all this set of layers the total number of layers are 316 and you will see that the name of all the layer over here you can open each layer from here so this is a set of connections that how layers are connected with each other 
I have defined a layer that is prediction layer from this prediction layer I will extract the features in the future um, I need uh, to create the set of train features and test features I have to extract from the train set of images uh, the train features and from the test set of images test features if you I execute uh, this loop first we will read an image and then I will resize the image to 299 cross 299 since this is uh, uh, just a unsigned integer 8 and a single layer we need an RGB image for, to extract feature through the LXNet model since it has no other uh, set of layers so we will uh, replicate and well, we will convert it from 299 plus 299 to 299 plus 299 plus 3 now you can see that through activation function we have extracted feature from the production layer and that feature vector has been organized in the shape of a row, single row with 1000 variables uh, we will concatenate uh, we will concatenate the extracted feature with the previous set of feature row by row if you look into this uh, code and we execute this code line by line you will see that after executing this code for twice the train feature it is uh, over here the train features contain uh, four uh, rows because the loop has been executed for four time after that we will save the train set of features and after saving the train set of features we will concatenate the label with the um, training features the last column will be used as a label we have concatenate concatenated the label along with the features and created a train feature label file the same process will go for the test uh, set of images and through the same process the test set of uh, labels will be concatenated with the test features uh, that is over here we will concatenate the train and test features and we will save this uh, feature label file uh, within the our directory which I have already saved over here you will see the classification accuracy and the area under the curve the ROC values within the next coming video